Another consideration when thinking about how to minimize logic, combinational logic circuits, is using exclusive OR gates. So none of the techniques that we've looked at that exploit Boolean algebra use exclusive OR gates, and that's because Boolean algebra is defined for AND gates, OR gates, and inverters only, so those three operations. But let's take a look at what would happen if I had a circuit that could exploit an exclusive OR gate. So if you recall, the truth table for an exclusive OR gate is 0, 1, 1, 0. And if I was doing this, I would probably start off by saying, let's put this in a K-map, because we can do a canonical sum of products, canonical product of sums. But we kind of get used to just using this K-map algorithm to minimize the logic. So I come along, and I put them in here, 0, 1, 1, 0. And I immediately run into a roadblock and say, well, shoot. It doesn't, there's no, there's no neighboring cells that have an output of 1 that I can uh, circle. So you just go back to an ex a uh, canonical sum of products approach. So then, okay. Well, what would happen if I then came along and said, well, what does an exclusive NOR gate look like? So I've got 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Exclusive NOR gate looks like 1, 0, 0, 1. So I say, okay, I want to create a minimal, minimized logic expression. So I come along and I put that directly into a K-map. I got 0, 1, 0, 1, and I say 1, 0, 0, 1, and I say, well, shoot. I don't have any neighboring cells that I can, again, circle. But then I look at this, and I say, well, you know what's interesting about this is that these exclusive or exclusive NOR gates tend to form a checkerboard pattern when put into a K-map. And we can use that identification uh, tax, or we can use that property, that pattern, to recognize when we do have exclusive OR gates. Now, there's no procedure for this other than knowing what the checkerboard patterns look like. But we can list out some of them, uh, some of them that we can just start, start looking for. So, for example, here is what we just drew in a little bit better, better form. So notice the checkerboard patterns that are associated with an exclusive OR and an exclusive NOR gate. So, okay, so anytime we see a checkerboard pattern, we should immediately think, okay, that exclusive OR, exclusive NOR, and then we can come back and we can map them into uh, one of these. And if it, it exists, then we can just replace it with an exclusive OR gate. So what does a three input exclusive OR gate look like? Well, it turns out that if we, if we look at the three input, it also has a checkerboard pattern. And the checkerboard pattern in this situation looks like this. 1, 0, 1, 0. And then that's an exclusive OR. And that's a 3-input exclusive OR. And then a 3-input exclusive NOR would look like this. Do, 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 do. So anytime we see something like that, we can't minimize it using the Carnot map approach. But you can replace it with a 3-input exclusive NOR gate or 3-input exclusive OR gate. Then what does a 4-input look like? Well, let's look at a 4-input exclusive OR gate. So here's what a 4-input four, four exclusive OR gate looks like. Again, look at the checkerboard pattern. So you have this, this is the desired output, put it into a Carnot map, and you immediately can't circle any, any uh, cells because none of them are neighboring. But we have this checkerboard pattern. We can actually map that back into a 4-input exclusive OR gate. And then finally, if you look at an, a, a four input exclusive NOR gate, it looks like this. So it's the same checkerboard pattern, but it's got just a different starting point, and that's a nice four input exclusive NOR gate. Now, what's not shown here, we covered what? Uh, two two inputs, two three inputs, and two four inputs, so that was six total. So we got things like A exclusive word with B, we got uh, a exclusive word with B, exclusive word with C, et cetera, et cetera. What we didn't cover, though, is going to be like A not exclusive word with B. So that's going to produce yet another checkerboard pattern. So we're not going to go in into all of them, but you can see that uh, that type of checkerboard pattern might also result in something that could be easily uh, implemented in a using exclusive OR gates rather than a uh, circling ones and, and then creating a minimized sum of products or product of some logic expression. So the whole point of this was to, uh, whenever you see a checkerboard pattern, think about exclusive OR gates and exclusive NOR gates as a way to minimize logic.